is the company pulling its Dreamliner production out of Everett. The Wall Street Journal reports that Boeing plans to move all of its 787 production to South Carolina. That decision could impact thousands of workers here in our region, mainly Snohomish County. And this would be on top of the 19,000 job cuts Boeing was already considering. The 787 has been assembled in Everett for more than a decade. It makes up about 10% of total orders right now. So far, Boeing has not officially confirmed the news. Representative Rick Larson, who represents uh, the people of Everett in Washington's 2nd District, joining us live this morning from Washington, D.C. Congressman, thanks for joining us. You sit on the House Transportation Committee. You've been living and breathing Boeing your whole career. Is this a done deal? What do you know? Well, it certainly sounds like a done deal. I think officially Boeing's report comes out tomorrow, but uh, I think this is really a, a misguided conclusion from the Boeing company. We have a great workforce, a great education system. We've got the aviation and aerospace ecosystem in terms of, of the supply chain. We have a lot to build on in the fu uh, for the future as well. So uh, I, I uh, don't think this is a the, the, the right decision uh, for Boeing. It's certainly not the right decision for the Pacific Northwest. Mm. The, the, you mentioned the trickle down effect. Uh, every big thing at Everett uh, at this plant affects so many people and so many jobs. What kind of impact is this going to have on the Snohomish County area? Well, let's keep in mind the uh, 777 and 777 X uh, are still uh, in Everett. The 767 is in Everett. The 737 Max and 737 is in Renton. So I do think Boeing and the workers will be certainly part of the aviation and aerospace future in the Pacific Northwest. But I also think that we need to have a Boeing and strategy. That is where Boeing is uh, continues to be part of the aviation and aerospace industry in the Northwest, but build on those strengths that I mentioned to attract those new entrants into the airspace, commercial uh, space travel with uh, companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. Uh, we've got companies building new propulsion systems that are located in the Pacific Northwest, propulsion for aviation. There's a lot for us to build on, and I think that we need to focus uh, as well as on the future of what aviation and aerospace looks like in the Pacific Northwest. Congressman Rick Larson uh, finding some of the silver lining this morning in this major news. Uh, Congressman, thank you so much. No doubt we'll be talking to you throughout the day. We appreciate your time. Thank you.